first and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory onto Yahweh Bashimel Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, this whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And um, just uh, driving back home from the uh, the Midwest uh, regional camp meeting, and uh, it was a very heavy, uh, heavy deal. You know, through the Spirit, we had. The Apostle Ramlob come up. You know, we had several camps. Can't remember every camp, but we, you know, we had Detroit, Cleveland, you know, uh, Des Moines, all right, uh, 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 Kansas City, etc. You know, come, uh, come attend this meeting. And there was other camps as well, all right? But those are the ones that are, um, that I can think of on the top of you know off the top of my head and um, you know a lot of different things were said in this uh, uh, meeting you know we uh, talked uh, you know about tightening up you know brothers gotta um, you know follow orders you know make sure they're on point make sure the brothers around them are on point okay you know, because, you know, we're entering into some serious times, you know, that's fast approaching. You know, the uh, Elder Malcolm was pushing with all the events that are happening, um, not just here in America, but worldwide. You know, he's, uh, he's going to shut this stuff down pretty soon through the spirit. You can really sense it. You can feel it. It just takes one, you know, major event or several major events, okay, to occur. And, you know, life that you know it is just going to change, all right? And, um, you know, so with that, you know, we got to just, you know, uh, continue to grow in the spirit and be prepped up for the things to come. All right, and then um, you know the other said that this might be the last time that we uh, uh, you know can do these things. You know, you know, gather up like this until the kingdom. All right, you know, and with that, hey, you know, you you gotta um, cherish basically every moment. That you have, okay, you know, uh, you know, with, with the brothers, you know, and one thing I noticed is the um, the love that we all have from you know for one another. All right, and you know, we were talking about how you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. All right, you know the uh, um, all these camps that are from all these different cities. Okay, and men that, that, you know, have all these different backgrounds, okay, are on the same mind, okay, in the same accord. That's uh, Philippians 2 and 2, I believe, okay? You know, hey, the scriptures talk about how there's no schisms in the body. You know, we, we, we uh, uh, got the correct doctrine, and we all push the same thing. We, we're all in the same, you know, mind, all right? You know, our, our eye is single right now, okay? And we're looking forward to the kingdom. Hey, we're kingdom-minded, you know, here at a, a great millstone, all right? We're kingdom-minded. Hey, but before the, the kingdom actually, you know, is uh, uh, set up on this earth, right? A great destruction is coming. You know, so it's a... Uh, um, it's going to be very interesting, okay? It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens, in, you know, in the coming days, okay? 
you know. And that's why, um, you know, we really gotta uh, get our minds right. Hey, brothers, they, they, they don't get distracted with the things of this world. That was, you know, some things that we were mentioning, you know. They don't get distracted by these women. Don't be distracted by, uh, uh, you know, your job. You know, how you're going to, you know, uh, uh, you know, feed yourself and, you know, clothe yourself in, 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 the, in these days that are coming up. Don't worry about that. Have that faith. That was a, um, that was something that was uh, brought up by a lot of different Akim that I was talking to. You know, faith was um, was mentioned quite often. All right, and see, we you know we're running and operating on faith right now, and this faith is gonna get us, okay, through all the things that are to come. You know, and that's how a, 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 you please the most high if you have that faith. All right, because it, it says in that book of Hebrews, uh, um, where is that? Uh, I think like Hebrews, maybe like the 10th, is it the 10th chapter? I don't know why it slips my mind right now, but it says uh, it's impossible to please the most high without faith. You got to have that faith, you know. And you see, they, the, 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 that's what the Lord has always wanted from us. You know, we got to continue to have these things. You see? You know, they, there's no point of going back. You know, that's what we were talking about. We, we, what's the point of going back? The Apostle Ramlav, he, he made a great point. You know, you know, for you know his situation, he was just saying, you know, I don't got nothing here. You know? You know, he, he, he was just being straightforward. He just said, you know, I don't deal, you know, I don't got a woman to deal with. I don't got, you know, a uh, family, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, of this world. You know, there's the, you know, I, it's not like he, you know, has, you know, investments and, you know, businesses. You know, it, it, all he has is this truth and this brotherhood. And then he, because he, he was saying that, you know, he, there's days where he, he wish he could just push a button, all right, to just, you know, go into the spirit uh, realm. But yeah, as the scriptures say, all right, because uh, we, you know, we brought this out. Um, uh, 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 what is that? In, um, I mean, maybe it's Philippians. It says, uh, I endure all things for the Alexei. He was mentioning, hey, this is what keeps him, you know, going. Is uh you know feeding the flock, guiding the flock, you know. And, you know we were mentioning how, you know, we're be, we're all becoming leaders. It's just not you know the apostles on down, you know, you know the apostles, the elder bishops, etc. And he was mentioning how each and every one of us are you know. Here to lead, and you got to remember in the days to come, you as a man of the Lord, you're going to be guiding people. You know, a lot of people are going to be looking to you for answers. Hey, the scriptures in Zechariah 8 and 23 speaks about that how they're going to um, uh, take hold, uh, uh, uh. Take hold of, how, you know what, let me get this lock. Yeah, I'm driving right now. But let me get this because I don't want to butcher it. Give me one second. This is the uh, the book of, what the hell was that? It's lucky. This is the book of uh, Zechari Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23. And it reads here, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass... That ten men, which that's just a, a, a number of completion, okay, shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that the Most High Yahweh is with you. And you see, 
the Lord is going to have, you know, these people follow you. And you're going to uh, be forced to guide the flock, okay? You're going to be put in these situations, whether you like it, believe it or not, okay? You're going to be forced to guide the Lord's sheep, okay? And that's because hey, when the days of trouble come, the Lord's going to be you know, uh, uh, guiding you, protecting you, and these people are going to say, uh, see it, okay? These people will see it. They're going to know whom the Lord's chosen are. Okay? You know? And, and, uh, um, the brother from, uh, the elder brother from, uh, 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 Jefferson City, Missouri. Alright? He mentioned how, um, he brought out the scripture when, you know, through the Spirit. How, you know, you know, we're starting to get that fame. Okay? And the reason why is because all the things that we've been saying and for all these years are coming to pass. You know, and he was mentioning how if you noticed all these people that, that you know were your you know uh, your you know your family members, former friends, co-workers, right? And they used to call you, you know, crazy. You know, you, you were out of your mind. You had a dress on. All right. So on and so forth. Right. They're not they're not saying these things anymore. Now they're starting to scratch your head. They're starting to, you know, look at you and then and, and say, you know what, man, he he, he 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 was saying this the whole time. Now they're trying to, you know, be buddy buddy with you, trying to be cool with you. But see, we're getting into the time period where that um that Matthew 20 uh, the 25th chapter is going to come into place with the five wise virgins and the five foolish ones right we're, 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 we're getting into that time period all right you see because look we got our oil we have ours you should have been gathering like we have you know, we, 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 we've been telling you these things for how long? You should have asked your questions 10 years ago. You should, you should have been getting on board 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? These people have had their chances. And many opportunities, you know? Look, this is our oil and that's it. We can't share it. Because look, if we share our oil... It's not going to be enough for us. You see? You know, and brothers were mentioning how you got fallouts, not just from Chicago. Other, other camps are starting to experience the same thing. How you got, you know, fallouts that are trying to uh, uh, contact brothers again, man. You know, and I'll say this, hey, everything's spiritual. You might have some that are, are uh, you know, they're, they're like the prodigal son, you know. They, you know, they, you know, did all, you know, they fell out, you know, went back into the world, so to speak. But then, you know, came back and repented. And, you know, you might have a brother or two, all right, that did these things. And he's still a man of the Lord, right? But the majority of these guys, nah, man. The only reason why you're coming back is because it's getting serious out here. And you're, you're, you're afraid. See, hey, I'll say this. A lot of you guys, you've been living on borrowed time for, 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 you know, for how many years? And now this judgment is starting, you know, it's starting to get close to your door. Judgment's about to start knocking on the door, man. And you're going to have to deal with... With, with, with the great judgment Alright That's in store for you And a lot of you are scared of that And they, I don't blame you I don't blame you But see You, you should have been 
repenting and getting, you know, uh, you know, and, you know, get, getting back on point and doing what you got to do. But no, but you know, hey, you know, Jake does things last minute. They're heavy procrastinators, you know. Jake always wants to get right when when that adversity starts, you know, uh, hitting them, man. I'm telling you, a lot of stuff is, is about to start happening, and it, it, we're about to, you know, go into some overdrive times, man. And it's going hey, like a, um, you know, uh, you know, the apostle was, you know, bringing out basically. You know, they, they, you know, we, we, you know, we brought the scripture out where it says in the book of, uh, is that the book of Luke? It says much is given, much is required. It says much has been given to us, much is going to be required. Be prepared for these things, man. You know, hey, we're still not at the end of this thing. There, there's still work to be done, and that's going to require a lot of sacrificing. Which a lot of Jake is not ready to do. And that's going to get a lot of guys, you know, the spiritual boot. You know? Hey, but Jay, you know, you know, for if for, for they, those righteous men, hey, they, 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 they're going to uh, step up. Okay? They're going to step up. Because they, they they know what's you know what's required of them, and they, like how we said, it's all going to be worth it. All these things that 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 we you know go through, all you know, all these trials and tribulations, you know, it, it's all worth it. Because when the kingdom you know comes. Uh, we're we're, we're going to deal with true peace, tranquility. We're going to really be able to enjoy our families. Okay? I know we're going to be in unity hey, with all with all the uh, with all Israel, you know what I'm saying? Cuz everybody's going to be in the right mind. Remember uh, 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 one of the uh, uh the older brothers from Detroit. Salaki your brother if you if you see this video, I, I can't remember your name. But well, you know he 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 mentioned it, man. You know he's going through a situation, and you know we were mentioning how you know basically you know not basically we were just real real talk. The majority of the people that are around us are gonna die, man. They're gonna get put to death by the Lord. Hey, but what's so beautiful is when the kingdom comes, those that were you know. Not right on this side. On this side, you know, who are part of the two thirds, they're, they're going to be in their right mind in the kingdom. He used the uh, the word. They're going to be reprogrammed. You know, they're going to be reprogrammed. All right. To I'll say this to actually their original design. All right, which is to be an Israelite, which is you know, to do what, to fear the Lord. All right, and keep His commandments. That's the what the whole duty of man, an Israelite man. You see, you know. But it, like I said, it, it was a very heavy, uh, a very heavy situation. You know, that uh, um, that camp meeting was was very very spiritual. That's why I'll say this. Hey, don't don't take you know uh, you know uh, being around these men you know for granted. Don't take this truth for granted. This is the greatest gift the Lord uh, uh, has given us. You know you, you got to think about it. it's a miracle that that we've awoken out of this out of this dead, desolate state that we were once in. You know, the Lord gave us. Basically, the whole playbook of what's the what's to come. Then he gives us, you know, like-minded men. You know, to be around. That that that's a blessing. That is a blessing. How could you take these things for granted? 
You know? That's why I don't understand how Jake, you know, doesn't do, you know, videos. I don't understand how brothers don't want to help one another out, you know? Now, I understand, you know, we get in the, you know, we're in the flesh and sometimes we have weak moments and we mess up. But, you know, for, for those men who are, you know, around doing these things, you better do some, you know, heavy self-examination because the Lord might just, they put out your, you know, uh, put out your light, man. All right? Might just put out your your, your light for not, uh, 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 you know, doing the things that, you know, that's commanded. Of you, you know, you're you're supposed to be, you know, teaching. You're supposed to be, you know, being charitable, being a brother, you know, showing that love to one another, you know. I don't know where a brother's minds are at, man. If I say this, guys like that, they eventually get exposed through the spirit and end up getting, you know, either kicked out or, you know, they they end up leaving. And they're like a cancer because once they're gone. You know, you, you, you sense it and you see the growth. Alright, from all the brothers, man, that are that are around you. You know, you you you, you really see it. You know, and hey, the man the, the Lord is is a, 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 a you know the Lord's not playing anymore. The, the, the Lord is is showing you who, who who the real men of the Lord are. All right, but um, you know that like I said, man, this was just you know just some thoughts that I had. I was just cruising back to the house, and Spirit just said, you know, just make a little quick video. Maybe somebody might be listening out there. Don't get edified, but you know, you know the main things, though, man. That, that you know that that I, you know, uh, uh, that I was, you know, receiving from you know from what was being said is, you know, these serious times are coming. All right, so be spiritually, you know, prepped up. You know, let's continue to push this word. Let's continue to you know grow and increase. Right, and the other thing is, you know, they just continue to love your brother. Cause this world, look, man, this world doesn't love you. This whole world is gonna come against you. Look, you, you know, your your mom, your dad. All right, they're the ones that are gonna be calling the cops on you. It's like in that movie, uh, uh what was it, the movie Blow? Well, yeah, you know, Boston George, right? That's the main character. You know, he, he basically, uh, he had, you know, a whole warrant for his arrest. He had, you know, the, the feds, you know, trying to find him. And he went to go see his parents one last time because he was going to go, you know, flee to Mexico and just, you know, you know, live out his life. And then, you know, he was, you know, breaking some bread with his, you know, with this, with this, uh, uh, with this dad, and then you know, all of a sudden he just starts seeing the police lights, and the one who ratted him out was his mom. And she was all worried about herself, and you know the, the image that she, you know, that she has out there. Instead of just you know, you know, basically you know saying bye to her son and. And that's that. Then they, you, you got these, you know, women out here. When things get, you know, rough, man, a lot of them are just gonna jump ship. It's like in the uh, the movie The Road. That dude's wife just didn't have faith. Didn't want to listen, and she just went out into the field and literally got raped and eaten. You know. See? So with that all being said, they just they, the only ones that are gonna stand by your side to the very end are, are these you know the, the, the true men of the Lord that are by you. So 
So I, I, the scriptures say, you know, uh, you know, honor all men, love the brotherhood. You know, I do these things, and, and, and see and see how far it gets you, man. Like, real, real talk. Uh, you, you know, you you, you honor uh, and love the brethren. The Lord is gonna, uh, you know, take you and. And it, you know he, 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 he's gonna he's gonna put you in good places, man. All right, but uh, you know I'm gonna end this lesson. You know, hopefully it was edifying. That I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Allah Shimon Shai. So double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.